you guys. So I wanted to make this video so that you guys could get used to our tape and extensions. So we have 22 inch and 16 inch extensions. Today we are going to be working with the 22 inch. The one thing that's a little bit different about our tape ends is they come without tape on them. So if you get them and they arrive like this, that's completely normal. Your order will come with tape with it and you can just put the tape on the hair as you go. And this is going to make it a really seamless and easy transition. And it's not a problem at all. It's just that we choose to have the tape come separate so that you can stock the hair as long as you want without it expiring on the hair. Okay, so before any tape-in extension installation, I always flat iron the hair. As you can see here, her hair has been up in a bun and it's a little bit kinky, so we wanted to flat iron it just to smooth it out and give us a really nice base to put the extensions onto. I am using this gorgeous flat iron from FHI Heat. They sent it to me and immediately I was obsessed because hello, look at it, it's rose gold. If you guys know anything about me, you know that this color is my weakness. I love it so much and I was so impressed by the way this worked. I mean, you guys can see right here it is smoothing the hair out so so well it's really easy to use and you don't have to hold it down on the hair forever it's really easy and quick and it just heats up really fast which is awesome because this is not something I like to spend a lot of time on I want to run that flat iron through her hair and not be spending 30 minutes flat ironing before the installation so I would definitely recommend getting this flat iron it was really amazing to use and I think I'm going to buy one for my house because I love it so much <laughs> Okay, so as you can see here, before installation, we are applying tape to the tape and hair extensions. The reason that my company comes without tape on the actual hair is because we have found that tape actually has an expiration date. This is something that I had no idea was a thing until I opened an extension company, and through trial and error and many, many, many different types of tape, we have found that it usually has a shelf life of about three months. We have a lot of people that order extensions and stock them for their salon, and we were noticing that if it sat longer than, you know, three to four months, it would start to expire so to fix this problem we decided to have it come without tape so that we could just send the tape with the hair because the retape tabs have a longer shelf life than the tape that came on the hair so this is our way to fix that problem you shouldn't have any installation issues as far as tape not being sticky that was the problem we were running into because the tape was expiring so quickly so that is why we do it this way and we have had no problem since transferring over to this and I love it so much so um, I am using white retape sheets right here here. You guys can see that the tops are white and the back is clear on this tape that I'm using here. We have recently changed our tape and it is now brown on the background. And the reason we've done this is because we have found that this new tape is the easiest one to work with. It has a really strong hold time, but it also comes out of the hair really easily. And we formulated our remover to go with this tape specifically. So if you see our tape now, I'll throw a picture up on the screen. This is what it looks like. And this is the tape that will be sent to you on us when you order hair extensions. We send you enough to do a full bag plus a little extra. Okay, so we are now placing the tape ins. I like to work with a brick lay pattern and I also utilize angles on a few of the pieces that I put in. This is just the way I like to do it. I know that everyone has a different way of doing it, but this is just what has worked for me as I have played with it over the years. If you are familiar with my company, you know that we have something called the placement guide. This is something that I came up with when we started the company because I felt with tape ins, there were two problems, A, initial installation and B, putting them back in. So I'm gonna throw up some pictures on the screen of the placement guide so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It is the feel of a dinner mat, so it's a big plastic board. It has the back of the head, the left of the head, and the right of the head. And you can see right here that those little lines show you exactly where to place your tape ins. So if you're just looking at this, it's a really helpful guide to place your tape ins initially. 
and it also helps you put them back in. A lot of the problems I was having when I first started doing tape-ins was you have anywhere from like 20 to 60 little pieces you put in the head, and when you take them out, they've all been blended specifically for the area they were placed, and it's really hard to get them back in the same place. So if you put them on these little lines that are on the placement guide, you know exactly where it was on the head. You can take the tape off, put it right back in where it was. So it's a really helpful tool for placing tape-ins initially and then also putting them back in and not having to re-blend or lose any length. You can find this on our website and I will link it in the description box below. And I want to apologize, I did not realize that this footage right here was blurry until I was editing. It was focusing on me instead of the head, and I'm so sorry. But I did want to show you guys because this is an example of why bricklaying with tapins is so important. If you don't bricklay, you're going to end up having gaps and spaces in the hair. So as you can see right here, I am doing one that's placed behind her ear. And then the next one that I place is going to be bricklaid just a little bit above it. And that's going to make it so that these tapins lay together instead of having spaces. So as you can see, it's above the other one, but when it lays down, it blends really nicely with the last one I placed. And I always recommend two to three bags of tapins for a full head. You can do one if you are wanting fullness only, but with length, we always say two to three. Our little motto at the salon is two is good, three is great, four is fantastic for thick hair. We are now blending her extensions. I always pull the extensions forward and have the client show me where they want it to hit. And then I do the front first, turn them around, do the back. That takes care of the baseline. And then I go through and do some slide cutting and texturizing to blend the extensions in with the natural hair. Don't ever use a razor when doing this. Always use shears. Razors can fray the cuticle of the extensions and cause them to frizz and just kind of affect the integrity of the extensions. And with her, she actually doesn't like layering at all. She's my sister and she doesn't let me cut layers into her hair. So I am just doing a baseline on her, but normally I would slide cut and texturize a little bit more just so you guys know. But if you would like a video on how I blend hair extensions the right way, then let me know because I would totally do that for you guys. Also, I just wanted to talk really quickly about placement for a minute. I know that my placement guide shows that there are angles and I talked about how I use angles on some of the placements of the tape-ins. As I've been teaching this in classes, I've had a lot of people say other companies have taught people not to place them on an angle because the hair grows in straight and you don't want to place it on an angle because of that. But I don't really agree with that because some people actually have their hair grow forward or back. Everyone has a different hair growth pattern and that's really not something that you can just say everyone has. Like not everyone's hair grows straight down. So I really feel like it depends on the client's hair type and their growth pattern. But also the angles help you be able to wear your hair up easier. It helps you hide them better. And I feel like it also helps it lay a little more naturally because you're following the shape of the head. It's the same idea of when you do beaded wefts, you do the horseshoe shape to follow the shape of the head and you're putting those beads and those stitches on an angle. So it's the same with tape ends. You should be able to do angles as long as it matches the curvature of the head and it's not too steep. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out to me because I've done a lot of research on this and it's something that I feel is okay as long as done correctly. And I All right, so that's my little video on how to install tape and hair extensions and just a few tips and tricks, plus some products from my company that I feel help the method. And if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will leave my email address in the description box below. If you guys have any questions about my extension company, our products, anything, that email address will be the best way to get a hold of us. I will also leave my Instagram handles below. You can also DM us for questions, but just know that email and phone is the easiest way to get a hold of us, and I will leave the salon phone number too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was kind of fun because a lot of people are focusing on beaded wefts so much lately, and my classes focus on that, and I feel like tape ins definitely get lost in the shuffle because it is an older method, but it's a method that's awesome, and a lot of people prefer tape ins to wefts. It kind of just depends on the client. So I feel it's important to know multiple methods because no two clients are the same. Some are going to prefer wefts, some are going to prefer tapes, and you just never know. If you are interested in taking any of my extension certifications, I will also leave those in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day.